Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome. Hope you're all well. Today, today we're moving on, moving on to new things. Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi infrastructure on the ESP32. Um, last time we looked at uh, Bluetooth. And so this is a, a step up, and we're going to go to Wi-Fi. Now, on the ESP32, there's three modes, three modes. Uh, the first one being station mode, which is what we're going to be concentrating on today. Uh, the second one is AP, AP mode. And we have a third mode called AP plus station mode. I'll explain the other two modes uh, later on when we, uh, we come to it. Now, um, what you are going to need is... Um, IP addresses, etc., etc., right of your ESP32. So um, let's go over to uh, to our IDE, right, and let's go to our sketch, right. Let's go to our sketch. So what we need to do is um, show you how to connect to Wi-Fi, all right. So it's hashtag include. So we're going to include our first library, and that is y y dot h. Okay. So that is the library we need. All right. Now, next thing we need to do is to let the ESP32 know um, the name of our router and the password. Right, you are going to see my uh, name of my root router, but I've changed the password. Okay, so const. All right, jar. All right, so it's const jar space quotes SSID underscore router all right there's capital r on the router right space actually that's not uh quotes sorry about that my old eyes star Right, SSID underscore router space equals, and now it's quotes. And now you have to put in the um, SSID of your router. That's the name of your router. Okay, mine's TP dash link underscore nine seven. E7. All right. Okay. Come outside the quotes, semicolon. So that's the name of my router. Const. Space charm. Space. Star. And then password. All right. Underscore. Router, capital R on the router equals. I'm going to have to read my password. I've just changed it. Okay, come outside the uh, quotes semicolon. All right. So that's all we need for our variables. Okay, we need the void setup goes between. Oh, let me take that out. Goes between the two curly brackets. Enter. Right now we want to start our serial. So it's serial dot begin. Brackets on. One one five. 200 from outside 
the brackets semicolon enter then we want to delay bear with me enter delay and we want two seconds Come outside the brackets semicolon enter then we want a serial dot print line and for line we just use ln and brackets on <coughs> and quotes and it's set up started right Come outside the quotes, come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Okay. Now we want to start the Wi Fi. <laughs> so it's W I capital F I. Right. Wi Fi dot begin. Right. Wi Fi dot begin brackets on. And it's SSID underscore router all right comma and password underscore router okay do okay do that's the brackets semicolon oh go back again Let me go along. Enter. I'm getting in the right. It was today, and I. Okay. Serial dot print line. And then for the line. Brackets on. And it's a string capital S. A brackets on and it's connecting to all right come outside the quotes we can put a space in there come outside the quotes come outside the brackets plus ssid underscore router capital r on the router all right come outside the brackets semicolon enter now we got a, a while now a while statement all right space brackets on wi-fi capital w capital f dot is it dot yeah status Brackets on, brackets off, come outside the brackets, space, exclamation mark, equals, WL, capitals, underscore, connected, all capitals. Right, come outside the brackets, no semicolon, space, curly brackets, enter, delay. And half a second, so that's 500 milliseconds. Come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. And we got a serial dot print. Brackets on. Quotes. Full stop. Come outside the quotes. Do that again. Quotes, full stop, come outside the quotes, come outside the brackets, semicolon. Come outside of the while command. All right. Enter. Serial dot print line. Remember it's LN for line, brackets on. 
both. Backlash N. Okay. Uh, connected. Remember, whatever you put in here will be printed. Right? Connected IP address. Right, come outside the quotes. That's why it's not. Yeah, I'm pressing the wrong buttons today, ain't I? IP address. Colons. Quotes off. Come outside the bracket, semicolon, enter. Okay, zero dot print. Line. All right, and this command will give us our IP address, all right? I, I dot local IP capitals. Okay. Brackets on, brackets off, come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Right, serial dot print. Line. Okay, brackets on, quotes, set up, end. Outside the quotes, outside the brackets, let me carry on. All right, we do not need anything in the void loop. We do not need anything in the void loop. Okay, so I'm hoping that's okay. Right, let's try it out, let's upload it. Compile in the sketch. Compile in the sketch. Check in, just check in what we got here. Const. Typo. If I begin. First word. All right. Okay. It's all to do with that. And let's try again. Should have seen that straight away because it's the uh, the wrong color. That's what's good about uh, this IDE. If you don't get the right colors, you know there's a problem. So we're compiling. So really, we're just, you know, today, just checking that everything uh, we can connect to the Wi-Fi, that uh, everything's working okay. Before we move on, do a few, you know, a few more um, Wi-Fi uh, videos. As normal, we start with the basics. We need to know our um, ESP32 IP address for future future projects experiments okay we're uploading we are uploading <laughs> see we're uploading nearly there nearly there There you go, and we've uploaded. So let's open our uh, a serial monitor. And let's press reset. And wait for the information, connecting to TP-Link.
Ah, I just noticed my password's wrong. My password's wrong. I've got to put a two on there. Seven, two. Right, let's upload it again. Sorry about that, guys. As you saw, it started connecting. Started connecting, but it didn't have the uh, correct password. Just making sure. Just making sure I've written it down correctly. And we're uploading again. Shouldn't take too long now. And then I'll change my password back. Well, no, I'll keep it like this um, for future future uh, experiments. Keep it on this. I've got a firewall anyway, so right. Here we go, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Not long now, not long now. And you might want to save this sketch. You might want to save this sketch because um, when we move on to the, the other ESP32s, here we go, we're connecting. And there you go. We've connected. Connected IP address. Write your IP address down. It's 192.168. Sorry, 192.168.0.132. Okay. So that's my IP address. Right. That's how you do it. As I say, it might be good for you to... Uh, to write your IP address down. All right, so uh, do that. And then uh, we'll need them for the next videos. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, quick little video just to show you how we connect to the Wi-Fi infrastructure of the ESP32. So thanks a lot. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.